Some people use them every day, usually when they're eating, but a Dowajak woman collects them. WSBT 22's James Fillmore met a woman with an impressive number of salt and pepper shakers. Jean Rowe has been collecting salt and pepper shakers for about 35 years. It's a fun hobby. It's a lot of fun. It all started with her husband's mother who collected salt and pepper shakers. I thought they were kind of crazy. But she got hooked after going to a convention in Michigan. She remembers the first pair she ever got. It was this Marilyn Monroe set. She won them at a convention. Jean inherited 1,700 salt and pepper shakers when her mother-in-law passed away. She's collected many others through the years, and now she she has close to 10,000 pairs. They're so beautifully made. They're just works of art. They yeah. really are. You name it, she's probably got it. Dogs, check. Batman and Looney Tunes characters, check. Snowmen, check. Jean keeps most of her shakers in the basement. When you look around, it's almost like being in a museum. Shakers are small. They're easy to collect. You're not using up a lot of room. Jean says her favorite salt and pepper shaker is a castle that she got from Disneyland. It's actually called a stacker, so the salt part is at the bottom and the top is the pepper. It's not all just about salt and pepper shakers, though. Jean collects other memorabilia, like a salt and pepper shaker magnet and dish towel. She's even part of a group called the Michigan Shakers. I buy a lot at our annual convention. We were in Washington this year. Um, the year before, we were in Omaha. It moves around. You may be wondering if she ever puts salt and pepper in her collectibles. No, 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 no. no. The pair she has at her dinner table is just your typical salt and pepper shaker with flip-flops painted on the sides. Jean says she's made a lot of friends since she's been collecting the shakers. I think a lot of people enjoy is hunting singles. You know, you have a single and everybody gets really excited at the convention if they can find a match. Jean is still on the lookout for more salt and pepper shakers. She has a set of kittens that need a couple more to complete the set. In Duajak, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News. Jean says over the years she's only broken two or three shakers and she says that some friends recently went to her house to help clean the thousands of pairs in her collection.